Okay, guys, thanks for uh, joining me for another one. We'll get right to it. Today, we've got eight premium diecast brands to look at. Uh, some people here in the States may not consider Auto World to be premium, but I really like all the details. We're going to take a look at this new casting, this Lincoln Continental Mark V. A lot of you guys have shown it already on your channels, and it's just a fantastic casting. I thought I would grab me one and show it off as well. So, uh, first thing I note about, notice about this is they did not try to squeeze it like Matchbox did with their version or Tomica did. This thing is enormous, it's long, it's really representative of the actual car. So we've got white wall tires, we've got fantastic rims, look at those rims. Really period correct, even down to the Lincoln badge on the window, that's pretty cool. Nice blue interior. One of my favorite new vehicles for 2022, if I'm honest, I've been waiting to get my hand on this. Nice license plate, tires with tread, as always. Uh, I know you guys have seen this on a lot of other videos, so we won't spend too long. I don't think this hood opens. You might be mistaken. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it looks like it does, but <clears throat> it's not opening for me. So in the... Uh, Consideration of time, we'll just put it on the turntable and watch it go around. We will get right to a beautiful Alfa Romeo from Kyosho. Kyosho, a brand uh, we've seen a lot on this channel. I highly encourage everybody to give it a try. This is going to be, as you can see, there is an extensive Alfa Romeo, Ralph, Alfa Romeo lineup from Kyosho. And this is a 147 GTA. Pretty cool little hatchback. Again, as always, if you don't know the brand, here's your little colorway chart. And let's get this joker off the plinth and take a look at it. All right, so really cool little hatch about the size of maybe, I don't know, Volkswagen Polo. Look at the Romeo grill in here with the badge. I don't know if we'll be able to get that badge in focus that is a small badge got one here on the rear lift gate as well with all the badging on the gate got some nice plastic inserted lensed tail lamps and window trim all the way around fantastic model by kyosha watch this guy go around you got lensed headlamps as well and uh take special note of these wheels these wheels are fantastic All right, a little bit of an older one, but uh, one that I did not have in my collection. This is the Mini GT version of the McLaren Senna. So, I don't have this Mini GT premium version of this one. So, we will take a look at it today. You can right away note the differences between this and the basic or even the premium Hot Wheels versions. We've got see-through glass, we've got the see-through door panel as well, and that's the way it really is in real life. You get some paint on the roof, looks to be a glass roof. Check out the fantastic steering wheel in here. That thing is really detailed. You have the carbon effect on the front part here. You got the McLaren badge on the bonnet. A little bit of lensed headlamps tucked away in there, slivers. And you've got some blue air intake vents. That's a pretty good amount of detail for this vehicle. Check out your triple exhaust on here. Got some paint chips coming off on me. Really cool wing, a little bit better done than of course Hot Wheels. 
Hot Wheels is not going to be the collector version or display version that this one is. You get tiny mirrors that have reflective stuff on them. Yeah, this is fantastic. Here is your base. And this one's a little old, but it is time to put it on the shelf. Pretty excited to show you guys this Toyota, this 96 Corolla from BM Creations Jr. I'll take a minute to get it out of the box and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we're ready to go guys. If you've seen me do a BM Creations in the past, these are models that tend to have a high level of customability or customization options. I think these are extended rocker panels for you to put to uh, you know, give this thing a like a body kit. I love, and I know I'm boring about this, but I love the absolute stock generic version. I hear from you guys a lot in the comments and you guys like some of these clean stock versions as well. Um, so we'll show it today as that. Here is what you get on a BM Creations. Here's your base. You got some exhaust painted. A nice chrome check out you've got a muffler and a tailpipe there corolla on the light bar on the back just like it would be lens tail lamps nice toyota badge on the deck lid coming around on the front that is just like i remember that car so what else do you get in this package you usually with this company get another set of wheels which it looks like we've got some uh really low profile and I guess these are gonna be stance. And you can see, I'll take these out briefly, but you can see that you get everything you need to change the total look of this car, including, check out this, you get a front clip here. This is pretty wild. So you've got the lower air uh, diffuser or splitter already built in or chin spoiler built in an entire front end that you can change the whole look of this car. So that's why I like this company. You can get two models out of this thing. You've got a stanced, you know, tuned vehicle, or you've got this amazing street stock version, which I like. Okay, up next, we've got a really cool Kyosho. Look at this kind of current generation MX-5 Roadster. And this is one of the newer releases from Kyosho. You can tell that by this acrylic display case and the box. We'll get it out here, it won't take very long. So this is gonna be an RS2 2015. And I love it. Uh, first off, just to, oh, that was just a piece for the display. No, nothing to worry about there. Uh, someone asked me, these typically don't roll too well, but this one, it seems like they're making a little bit more of an effort to make them rollers. Got a beautiful metal flake blue on this. Um, nice pewter wheels. Interior, as you would expect, gonna be black for a Kyosha, but it is really nice because it is a convertible. They've got a lot of detail. You can see a e-brake in here. You can see a little pop-up display screen beside the right-hand drive steering wheel. You got the safety reinforcements behind the seats. Got lens headlamps, nice Mazda badge right there on the front. Matte black on the grill there. Nice lamps on the rear. And a Mazda badge right there on the deck lid. I like it. That's Kyosho.
I had to get this Mini GT old school MX-5 version uh, as a compliment to that new one from Kyosho. I really love the original Miata, which this one is. And let's look at it, because Mini GT has got some absolutely amazing castings coming out right now. So, we've got uh, really accurate rims on that. You've got Mazda on that wheel cover. And let's say we got tires with tread. Look how small and skinny these tires are. This thing is definitely 164 scale because it is tiny in hand. A little bit of a scoop on the hood. That's neat. Lens headlamps that are just, I mean, just as big as a eyelash. Nice wipers built into the glass piece. Coming around on the rear, you've got two different color lamps on the rear. You've got the Miata and the old school logo on the registration plate. And you've got the Miata badge on the left-hand side as well. Nice mirrors on this one built onto the car. A um, little bit of chrome there for your exhaust system. Really a nice piece for Mini GT. Okay, I'm going to credit and blame Carl at Stinger Diecast for this one. This was not on my radar, but this is Zonda. It's a really cool Pagani. And I think this is one of the newer ones from Mini GT as well. Don't have this vehicle in a premium. So I was excited that they've got a nice, clean, silver Zonda. How about that, guys? This thing is really sharp. Tires have tread on them. Really authentic rims. And you've got the rubber side view mirrors. Look at the detail work you get on the headlamps here. Okay, so we've got two different colors interior. We've got the gauge or the cluster uh, with some chrome on the tips of the um, gauges in there. Got multiple colors on the dash. Look at the engine peeking through the cover here. Coming around on the rear. And you got tail lamp detail. All that looks great. Zonda on the rear body here. Really a fantastic job by Mini D GT. I, uh, I am loving this Picani Zonda. Okay, last up for today will be another Para 64, a favorite brand of the channel. I'll just show you the <clears throat> boxes. Looks like they've got some, I saw another channel that's explained that these might be famous race tracks on the interior of the boxes. This is gonna be an officially licensed product. This is a Maybach GLS. We'll get it out of the case here momentarily it looks like it's going to be in a gloss black starting to really build up the collection of suvs and there's a lot of them out there kyosho does some good stuff para does a lot of fantastic stuff audis bmws mercedes i didn't have this one I'm excited to get it so let's dive in okay so a nice mercedes badge on the hood Lots of detail on these lensed headlamps. Chrome on the air intake grills, as well as what is it? Maybe a skid plate down here. Nice windows on the side. Plenty of interior to look at. Room for eight back there, including look how the center console for the rear seats even has detail you get all the gadgets and bells and whistles that those guys in the back would have q 
curious about this badge on the rear sailplane here. I wonder if that is a Maybach badge. Coming around, you've got the Mercedes star above that chrome applique piece that goes across. Just outstanding detail work from Para 64. You're not gonna get tread on the tires with Para, and that is an acceptable consolation or concession for all the other amazing detail you work. I, even the color of the tail lamps seems to be a little bit more authentic than some companies. Here's your interior. Beautiful. Maybach GLS, gonna be true 164. Hope you've enjoyed these. We will end with the Maybach going around on the turntable. Got more stuff in the mail. We should have another premium mix video out soon, guys. Thanks for coming back by, and I will see you on the next one.